Hi, it's raining. It's a terrible time to record, but it's the second to last day before the PTS server stops having the housing, and I just want to make sure I get everything on here before I go. So I redecorated Boulder Tree. It looks a lot like it did before. Um, <laughs> I used this tent to put my horse and Roger's squaw in. Uh, I like that a lot, so I wanted to remember it. Um, and I want to show, look at, and remember what I did in the house. So we bought the house furnished this time, and I tried to start over again, but I ended up furnishing it pretty much the way it was when I bought it empty. So um, I guess that just goes to show that there's probably not that much point in buying it furnished. Um, some things I did want to look at, I like these um, casks. Um, these are, I'm not sure what they're called, but I have them. Um, instead of barrels, are they nice? And also these... Um, Wait, let me get in the housing thing so I can highlight things. These, the deer urn is really good too. It's a good shit. It's a good size, kind of in between. You can have it on the ground. You can have it on a over a fireplace or something. Um, we did this for the fire, which is what they originally had in that upstairs part. We we have the upstairs part for the bedroom, so we put it down here. Um, I like it, and we decided to put it there because we can't find a way to use the cooking fire indoors for provisioning so um here are a bunch of miscellaneous bases that i didn't end up wanting um i mean they're fine but i just didn't have enough room for them and anything to put them on since i took out most of the shelves <laughs> um i like this this thing too this um cast that's in the ground i don't know uh, what it's called I think I might have actually forgotten to write that down now that I think about it. <laughs> I want to remember these Argonian shelves that are, um, I don't know, if, I don't think they're too expensive and they hang on the wall, they can fit in a really tight space and they blend in really well uh, with the wood, wood elf decor. Um, other stuff, uh, this one came with books and um, that's kind of nice to have a couple of stacks of books, they're not very expensive right now. I don't know if they'll go up. And instead of having an Argonian, a uh, little square Argonian table, which I think is called an end table here, like we did before, I used an orc table, a round orc table. It's just the cheapest kind. I can't remember what it was called. The bedroom's a lot like it was before. <laughs> Recognize anything? The things that I changed. Um, this table's new, <laughs> not very expensive. Um, putting the candles in this pot is new. Rug is the same. That thing's the same. There's a torch here just because um, it was just already here. Rough torch basic. It's actually really gives really good light for a really small price. We got all the crafting tables in. This basket of apples is, um, is also new. It was here. I got the less expensive Red Guard um, dressing table. They have two, and they don't call them dressing tables either. They're in the, I think they're in the wardrobe section. It's just kind of hard to find them because there's only two dressing tables in the game. But I got the cheaper one, and I think it's almost just as nice. It's fine. Got this cheap Argonian chair. And these Argonian chairs are super expensive. They're actually different from the ones that I had before. The ones I had before didn't have a cushion on the back, but otherwise they look the same. And either way, they're 400, so I don't know if we'll be getting those. Same with the cushion I was just standing that's also 400. <laughs> but on the floor, we had had um, like reed mats from um, from the Argonians with red um, edges, and they were 400 each. So instead, I put a couple of um, a wood elf beds down that are, I think these are the most expensive wood elf beds, but still way cheaper than the reed mats. Um, they're actually a little bit nicer than the ones I usually buy. <laughs> so that's the high end bed if you want that for the flooring. Um, I just wanted to remember what size these things are. On the left is the blue pitcher, um, which is the same one I used as a table lamp um, before. Um, and then here's the deer pitcher again in this. I'm not sure it's called the cask, but it might be. It's a barrel, and it's what you have for wood elves instead of a barrel. And then these two smaller kind of wiggly jugs, um, <laughs> they're, um, I was just wanting to remember they're a good size for something like a, um, above a fireplace or on a 
shelf or something other you know, it's always hard to find knickknacks in this game so that looked good otherwise everything's the same same rug um i want to go outside and look at some of the i had to empty my inventory look at all this stuff look at all this stuff I, i'm gonna be i it was i had it was very bittersweet emptying my pockets out here because i know that this is worth so much and um crowns and yet i can't save any of it of course <laughs> But I know a lot of people didn't get to use them at all or fool around with them. I just wanted to remember some things that I used a lot and the reasons why. Um, whoops. <laughs> like this table, for example, this has been a really good one. It's a Red Guard, I think it's called the Game Table. Um, it's really good because it's a pretty big size and you can put kind of a big item on it for a display. If you put a candle on it, it looks good with the. Um, it really shows off the detail on the top, and it's, of course, not square, which is kind of hard to find in the game. Um, you need a fairly big space for it, but if you just have, like, a deck or something like that, it can be great. You just have that and some floor pillows or something. Um, same thing with this orc table. Is it orc? Nord. Orc. Or. It's orc. Right. So, um, it's got this. It looks like it looks like it wouldn't be much good because it's just kind of gray and brown and it, and it is those colors so you need colors that will pop with that but same thing because it's got this engraved stuff on the top if you put a candle on it or something it really has a lot of um a lot more detail than a lot of the tables um i wanted to remind myself uh these high elf tables are very very small um which it can be good but a lot of times it's just too small to even like put even a larger lamp on <laughs> So they're really small. Um, these couches have been so important because they're like the only actually good couch. But there is another good couch, which is the Dark Elf one. The only problem is it needs cushions for the back, and they all cost a lot. The couch is 400 and each cushion is 400 That's only 150 so hopefully if the price is going to change, that would be good. And I just wanted to remember that I like the Dark Elf furniture. Whoa, where can I put this down? It is um, pretty. It has gold and green. And sort of a, a grayish wood. Um, it's very dark. I mean, not out here in the sunshine, but in the house, it really is dark. So you need to have other stuff to go with it that will brighten the place up. So I like to use the dark elf pieces in in you know not too many, but uh, even just this uh, bar or whatever it's called is counter is it's, it's you know it's got a lot of personality compared to most of the counters which are just sort of a block of wood um that can really dress things up and there's a smaller one than this if you have a really tight space um, otherwise i want to remember these red guard items oh yeah i'll get the other ones um let me find them real quick hmm this one's lacquered, and it's um, it's more expensive. The big one is 50 This one is 150 it, it is nicer, and it has more details on it and stuff. But if you want some cheap, large vases, um, I'm not really sure what area it would be in. Burn, maybe? Yeah. Well, no. Anyway, the Red Guard ones, if I can just remember what they're called, are, are big. You can put plants in if you want. Um, the main thing is they take up a lot of room. They're not something you could put on your on your um, fireplace mantle or whatever. You know, they're really going to be a lot bigger than that. I'm not really sure where to look for them. I'm not cookware dishes, pottery. Oh yeah, and they're cheap, they're only 50, you know, so I used these a lot when I first started um, playing around with this stuff because I I just needed, I needed stuff to put plants in that wasn't going to be very expensive and I needed stuff to take up room. But they're a little blah looking, you know. Um, I wanted to remember these sizes for the Wood Elf stuff. I didn't remember how big this blue Wood Elf face is, it's definitely not going to work for, you know, like it, it has to be a, like a floor thing. Um, and then this is the deer one again. Gosh, how come I can't pick it up? I could all just... 
didn't know there was another one. A different. I thought there was only the deer one. Oh, this is the deer one. Well, that's actually kind of a good thing to remember, too, because I've noticed this several times because I got about five deer vases with the boulder trees. So these are both deer, but you could put them together and not know they're the same if you don't have the deer on the front of both of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one is, too. Let me make sure. I think there's only one vase this. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is a different vase. Okay, so that's that's good to know, too. So that I, there's another vase the same size. I didn't realize, but um, even if you do just have two that are the same, if you turn one around the back, then you can use both of them. I'm going to just quickly check and see what that is. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, that's my video. Um, bye.